All right, so uh, in this uh, video, we're going to do our last bit of uh, reversing the order on triple integrals. And I think all we have left to do in this case is to, uh, to integrate with respect to y first. So let's integrate with respect to y first. So I'm going to, again, make use of, uh, I'm going to kind of approach it, you know, the same way we were doing it a second ago in the other two videos. So now what I'm thinking about, since we're integrating with respect to y first, again, I know my equations need to be of the form y equals some, some equation, y equals some equation. I should say y equals, you know, some function of uh, x and z, y equals some function of x and z. All right, so what I think about is, I kind of begin thinking about the y-axis, which, okay, the y-axis looks like that in my picture. I kind of think, you know, if there, if I could take a line, if I could move the y-axis and, you know, put it right through my surface, again, approaching from the negative direction, which would be from the left, and then through the right, again, maybe I can use my little tent and bullet analogy. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe somebody, sh you know, shot a bullet through your tent, Again, uh, you know, hopefully you're not there. Somebody shot a bullet through the tent. The first uh, surface that that bullet would hit would be this, this, this curtain, this curve y equals root x. Well, okay, that's already a function. That's already expressed in the form y equals some curve. And again, this is a function of x and z. I mean, technically, you just don't need the z. Okay, so that would be the, uh, the, the first surface that it would hit. And then it's going to travel through, and it's going to go, so it's going to go through the blue surface first, and then it's going to travel out, and it would go out through the red surface. It would go out um, sort of through this roof and side of the tent, and that's given by the equation z equals 1 minus y. Well, again, though, all we need to do is we just need to take that equation, and we need to solve for, we need to isolate the y. So I can add y. I can subtract z, and ta-da, we've got our limits of integration, okay? It's, uh, the lower limit will be y equals root x, and the upper limit will be uh, y equals 1 minus z. Okay, so we're doing uh, y first, so then we either do dx and dz, or we have to do dz and then dx. But again, what I need to think about is I need to sketch the region now in the xz plane. Okay, I need to think about what's the domain? What are the x and z coordinates getting used? You know, if we were to list out every, uh, you know, point uh, on, this, on this surface, on this three-dimensional object. Uh, I shouldn't even just say on it, in it as well. We're integrating over the entire region. So... Okay, so I'm trying to, you know, project this region back into the xz plane. Well, I, I think, what would this region look like in the xz plane? Okay, so again, I kind of imagine, you know, if the sun was way out, you know, kind of, you know, the sun was way out here along the, the y-axis. You know, if the sun was out there and it was, you know, making a shadow on this tent, uh, where would the shadow be on the xz plane? Well, I think the shadow is going to come basically from the curve. It's going to come from the, uh, the curtain z y equals root x. But again, we kind of have to, we have to express that curve in terms of z's and x's. But we can do that without too much trouble. And again, you know, again, this is what I said in the last video. Pay attention to the equations. We have z equals 1 minus y. But we also have that y equals root x. So we can just do a substitution. Let's just, you know, replace the y with root x. So it says we're going to get the curve z equals 1 minus, not y, but, well, square root of x. And if you graph 1 minus root x, you know, you can always plot points if at this point you're losing your mind. x equals 0 is 1, right? Plug in x equals 1, you'll get uh, z equals 0. Uh, just going to be uh, just a little curvy area, okay? So this is going to be the area in the uh, the xz plane. If we could kind of you know create this shadow over here on the xz plane, 
Okay, if we could kind of create that shadow, maybe that's probably not big enough. Let's make it a little bit bigger. That looks more correct. If you could look at the shadow that this tent would create in the XZ plane, it's going to create that curve. All right, we're getting close, my friends. This is uh, the curve Z equals 1 minus X. Uh, the bottom curve is just going to be Z equals 0. Okay, so let's knock this one out. So let's see. So a second ago we did, we integrated with respect to y first, so I'm just copying down what I had up here at the top. Let's suppose we want to integrate, let's integrate with respect to z next. Okay, if I integrate with respect to z next, again I'm going to draw my, uh, my line up and down, and again that tells me that I, I, my limits of integration have to be in the form z equals something z equals something. Well, the upper limit of integration is just going to be the top curve, which we said is going to be z equals 1 minus root x. The lower curve is just simply going to be, well, z equals 0. Last but not least, we would need to integrate with respect to x on the outside. Again, we need to use the smallest x to the largest x. The smallest x-coordinate is 0. The largest x-coordinate is 1. So that would be one of our uh, integrals. And again, you could get rid of the z equals and the z equals. So you could just say from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1 minus root x, from root x to 1 minus z. Again, you're doing dy, dz, dx. Oh, I think I'm starting to lose my mind here. Uh, nah, they're not that bad. And I know these uh, videos have been a little long, but I think I'm... You know, just trying to be super thorough because I think they can be confusing. Okay, so we did z first. Let's do x. Uh, so we, I should say we did y first, but then we did z, then x. Let's do x and then z. With a bit of practice, you can certainly obviously, you know, get faster. So, so have hope. Um, and hopefully you'll be given the diagram at the beginning too. Um, okay. So we said if we did y first, uh, we said when we did y first, it was root x to 1 minus z. Okay, so now we're going to integrate with respect to x. Okay, so we're going to integrate with respect to x. Well, again, forget about uh, making our line uh, uh, vertical. Let's make it horizontal. Okay, so when we, we integrate with respect to x, we need our curves to be of the form x equals something and x equals something. All right, well, the upper limit of integration is going to be the rightmost curve, which is z equals 1 minus root x. But again, I'm going to have to take this equation and solve for x. So we can add the root x over. We can subtract the z. And then if we square both sides... Well, we'll get 1 minus z quantity squared, and I am not going to multiply that out. Okay, so that's going to be my, uh, you know, my middle upper limit of integration. The lower limit of integration will just simply be the, uh, the left curve, which is going to be the line x equals 0. Outside limits of integration, we're integrating with respect to z. Smallest z-coordinate to the largest z-coordinate will be from 0 to 1. So just to write it one more time, it's 0 to 1. 0 to 1 minus z quantity squared root x. 1 minus z. And again, f of x, y, z, dy, dx, dz. Oh boy, okay, so that is it, my friends. We have now gone through changing all the orders of integration. Again, um, <clears throat> I'm sure it's probably taken me a good half hour to do all of these if, you, if, you, if you've made it this far through them all. Again, you know, this problem, you know, I haven't done them recently. I take that back. I did one yesterday. That's what made me think about these. But before that, I hadn't done them for a while. And I was able to go through this one and probably... A little under 10 minutes. So I think uh, you guys, certainly with a little practice, if the curves aren't too bad, you know, I think you could crank one of these out between 5-10 minutes, but certainly if I saw one on a test, if it was worth a lot of points, you know, I would 
certainly spend more time on it. Um, if it wasn't worth so much, though, I would probably save it because, again, they can be time-consuming for sure. So a um, couple things uh, while we're at it. A couple things just to keep it – let's just keep it lively here. Um, first thing, if you've made it this far, hey, how about subscribing? That would be awesome. Patrick would love you for it. But the other thing, the important thing is – how about another little problem? Uh, if anyone's interested, feel free to post video responses about this one, and uh, you guys can give your take on it. So it's kind of a same, similar problem. It says the figure shows the region of integration for the integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 1 minus x squared, 0 to 1 minus x, f of x, y, z, dy, dz, dx, and again, they want you to rewrite uh, this integral as an equivalent iterated integral. So basically the same thing I just did, okay? So if you're interested, um, you know, I think that would be a great problem. You know, if, you, if you're if you watching all this stuff, that would be a great problem to uh, to practice on. And some of you people, uh, if you, if you want to kind of compare answers and see what happened, uh, post a video and see how everything, you know, see if you got the right answer or not. Um, so again, I'm going to try to make a, a little sketch of it. Hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer. Um, quick little sketch here. Probably should have done this before. Uh, okay, so again, what they're saying is that the top surface, this top surface is the equation z equals 1 minus x squared. Um, it looks like the uh, kind of the uh, sort of the right portion of the wall, that's the equation y equals 1 minus x. Again, the integrals they gave were from 0 to 1, 0 to 1 minus x squared, 0 to 1 minus x, f of x, y, z, dy, dz, dx. Okay, so that's kind of, they're saying, you know, this is one of the uh, ways to set up this region. Find the other regions as well. So it looks like to me the floor is still just going to be the uh, x, y plane. It looks like it's uh, bounded on the left by this, uh, this, you know, the uh, the uh, x z plane, and then in the back by the y z plane. So, if you want to practice one and post some video responses, I would love to see them because, um, again, I think this stuff's complicated. It's always great to get a different viewpoint on it. So. All right, my friends, uh, sorry for the long videos. Again, I think it's complicated, so it is what it is. I hope it helps. I hope it makes sense. And uh, I don't know, try the other problems as well for sure.